Ini uh, kena cepat sebab dia kelas quite big. Uh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, dia sampai semua awak. Kamu mai expedition. But, uh, uh, I mean, how many column? Five or six columns, so not much. Lah. It, it, uh, what are the columns? Nicholas Cole. Uh. Oh, Hmm. Number of student that get A, you mean things like this lah. Hmm. So when you try, you realize that not much you can see. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Oh, you think about it next week you let me know okay mm. okay but good lah you can analyze huh? you know you, you have the capability of analyzing yeah? yes. uh, uh. okay so next group is a data processor team data processor Siti Sabaria, Nur Aisyah, Nurul Hazwani, Tengku. Uh, hello, Assalamualaikum. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, our, uh, our name of data set use is uh, obesity level based on eating habit and physical condition. Uh, uh, so, uh, uh, our problem statement is to identify the obesity level of an I uh, individual okay, and so to, uh, the prevalence of childhood and adolescence uh, overweight and obesity is raising and alarming in many countries. So, that's why uh, we want to know how the uh, uh, how their habit can lead to the obesity uh, to the obesity and the disease. So your problem statement is uh, uh, what you're going to do with it? What is the real problem? I mean, uh, once I you file out, okay, your finding all your report, you have a report with all the findings. Who going to use it? What is your purpose? Copy members. Tukang kosu, tukang member. Tukang tiap operate status. Nama koritik dah tu. Yang kita kena buat sana ni entrance tu. Entrance apa ni? Actually, I haven't, uh, I haven't know yet. Uh, anyone? Apa entrance of it? Yeah, it's okay, it's okay. So you start thinking about it now. Uh, I just highlight it. Okay. 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 So, so problem statement, it means, is it used by who? Is it Malaysian? Is it WHO? Or who? What, what, what they want to, uh, your result, what, they, what are they trying to do? Or they just want to create just awareness because they hire you and then they realize these are the issue and then they just, you know, blast advertisement, sometimes can create awareness, uh, encourage people to do this, create activities, uh, the result from your finding. And they also know who are the target. Uh, citizen that they have to achieve is it school children there we go to school children is it um you know rural area is it urban area is it uh if you realize that the problem is the whole malaysia probably we have to advertise it through tv as an example or radio 
first is whole nation ah, benda -benda macam tu. because when you know the result you have to take action your action ialah to create awareness kan okay, strategize to create awareness ah. so these are the problem problem by, by who who is the problem ah. so because if you say that this to then siapa nak pakai data ini sebenarnya What you going to do with your data? Surely ada oh, stakeholder that oh, going to oh, use your data. Uh, that is your problem statement. Oh, eh? sure, okay, so uh, next group. Mm, team data apa ni, breaker. Uh, team data breaker. Okay, Assalamualaikum, doktor. Dengar saya tak? Ah, dengar. Okay, hari ni uh, group. My group uh, will... <coughs> present about our data set which is car features and MSRP. MSRP tu maksud dia market suggested retail, retail price. Maksudnya berapa harga standard untuk kereta tersebut. Okay, the first problem statement is uh, first time car buyers did not know whether the price is worth with the available features. So kita tahu uh, kadang-kadang uh, kereta yang dia jual tu tak kena dengan harga harga yang ditawarkan. Hmm. Tu macam kereta ni brand lama tapi harga dia mahal. Hmm. Lepas tu engine-engine tu guna engine-engine lama so tak kena lah kan dengan harga dia. Hmm. So untuk yang kedua the trustworthiness of the car brand based on the popularity. Kebanyakan orang yang beli kereta ni dia akan tengok car brand dulu sebab hmm. kalau ramai orang yang suka you brand Adam. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. Okay, uh, uh, the trustworthiness of the car uh, brand based on the popularity. So, uh, first time car buyers, uh, they tend to buy uh, the car uh, uh, based on the popularity or based on the brand. Uh, most of uh, new time Uh, first time car buyers, they will prefer uh, to buy the, the car based on the brand because uh, people will uh, recommend which brand is better. Uh, like uh, for example, uh, we know uh, BMW brand, right? Uh, BMW car, mostly the features is okay compared to maybe compared to Mercedes. Uh, So our our objective objective is to uh, help first time car buyers to uh, to predict or to um, to help them to know uh, the retail price for the car. Uh, So the problem statement is correct. It means that uh, first time buyer, they're not sure the value of the car. Is it true based from the price feature and so on, right? Yes. So mm -hmm. you want to give great awareness lah for this buyer. Uh, but who hire you when you do the report? Who are you going to give this report to? <laughs> okay, this report sometimes uh, you can give to a syarikat lah, syarikat kereta because syarikat kereta sometimes they also give, uh, they also create a simple web in terms of the price of the car and then you want to calculate monthly loan right, you just key in the feature then they calculate lucky, it for you uh, they give simple simple gadget probably this one can be a simple gadget that can help a manager car company manager to you know boost up their sales Uh, you want that the extra gadget that they attach together inside their website so that uh, whoever visit their website can see and then um, you know indirectly uh, the extra service uh, maybe you get a shot permanent uh, and you can uh, just, just like people selling uh, roti yeah. when they sell roti they don't really advertise their roti sometimes they just teach people how to bake roti but of course lah uh, the secret-secret ingredient dia tak kita tahu kan Uh, roti yang senang-senang dia -senang, teach you how to do it then they say okay how to jaga your oven how to take care they give us you know extra information but actually their main adalah they just want to create awareness that people know oh my company exists I have a company uh, people visit to get the tips but actually they they 
Every time you want to buy roti, they remember, oh yeah, ABC bakery. Yeah, rumput, 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 uh, to kan. trigger that kind of thing. So, um, that it can be also, um, you know, uh, a bit, uh, problem segment. Uh, problem segment, it mean that, okay, uh, you you try to see uh, how you're going to feed it. Uh, but the problem is correct. You want to create awareness okay, about the price and the material today. I mean, the amount that they pay, is it available? Is it uh, not available? Is it a valuable, uh, valuable um, for the car? Mm. So, so you must know who's your stakeholder. Kalau you buat report tu untuk siapa? Somebody going to read your report for who? Uh, kan? So remember uh, for people to make decision. Your decision, yes, is true. Your end user adalah customer. Customer yang nak beli kereta tu, they will make the decision. Uh, what car to buy? Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Next. Uh, team intellect data. This now what is the name of the group like that? Yeah. Bakers, right? Bakers, eh? Okay. Next group. Team intellect data. Ali, Amirul, Muhammad Haikal, Muhammad Irfan. If you are not ready, I go at the group team Datum Tech. Muhammad Haikal, Abdul Hasif, Nur Am Amrina, uh, Marwati. Hello, Assalamualaikum. Dengar tak suara saya, Dr? Uh, yes. Okay, uh, untuk team Datum Tech ni, ah. kami ada dua option tu tapi saya rasa saya akan pilih option dua. Um, dia yes. data set tu dia ada tunjuk pasal mortality rates for large and medium sized mammals on plantation oh. roads compared to highways in peninsular road Malaysia. So dekat data set tu dia tunjuk lah um, berapa banyak mammals yang kill dekat highways dengan jalan-jalan yang dekat dengan plantation. So kat sini kita boleh nak compare how many mammals died dekat highways dengan plantation road ni supaya kita nak tahu apa causes yang mammals ni boleh mati sebenarnya daripada road kill ni. Kita boleh cari sebab dia dan nak elakkan daripada berlaku lagi banyak nak jaga mammals dalam um kawasan kawasan plantation dengan highway ni. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So, who hire you eh? Which aku hire uh, kalau okay. saya rasa mestilah kena mengena dengan wildlife. So dalam hmm. dalam dataset tu dia ada tunjuk tau oh, um location uh, distance kematian tu dekat dengan uh, a jap eh dekat ibu pejabat jabatan perhilitan yang terdekat. Jadi Uh, saya rasa yang hire kami ni adalah orang lah mereka lah. So they hire you because hmm. uh, they want to, the action that they want to do is uh, to avoid lah kan more animals uh -huh. being killed and then when they get this statistic as an example lah kan, they want hmm. to tell jabatan JKR lah, JKR. JKR. Yeah. Bumper, ha? bumper kan, good bumper hmm. tu. And then if you go and tell say, 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 they will not they will not agree until you come up with a statistic, you say you see how many animals die. So many animals die in this area, in this area. So we want to take action. One of the action is about Baga as an example. Or we want to create awareness. They want to take action. No? Mm -hmm. uh, so they want to the, the main reason and they want to protect the animal. So they want to The reason is want to protect animal due to a lot of animal die and then before they can make decision, of course they have to understand, betul? Betul, betul. And, uh, so that is your problem segment kat situ lah. The problem is, okay, because when you get the result, the result need to be for someone to take action, right? Mm -hmm. uh, someone to take action ialah to create awareness. You give apa uh, uh, jabatan perlilitan tu kan probably they can create awareness such as that you know masuk kanan TV you see how many we kill and so on or maybe they want to get grant they want to get no uh, support 
or, or they want to prove it to JKR, you see, you have to do something. Uh, oh. uh, you want to. The result is to help people making decision. Making decision is like create awareness for making decision juga, kan? Uh-uh. Someone, for someone to make decision. This is what I mean. But what they do, you don't care. Lah. Now your job is yeah, to um, protect this animal. So you want to understand what's going on. That's why you want to understand lah, berapa kematian and so on that will assist people in making decision. Uh, faham eh? Uh, faham. Because, Buat, buat benda dia mesti ada objektif. What is the purpose lah eh? Kita buat ni. Okay, good. So, okay, you are welcome. Next group. Hmm. Let me see. Ha, data analyst. Akiki, Siti Katijah, Nick. Okay. Can you hear me later? Okay, so our data set is online shopper purchasing intention. It has the, it, it consists of 18 columns mm-hmm. and around 12,000 rows, which also indicate the session for each customer. Mm-hmm. So the problem statement is to find out whether the user is willing to make purchase or not. Hmm. To find out whether they want to make purchase or not. Yes. Uh, how are you going to find out? From what? Um, uh, by seeing the uh, like the column from the duration for the uh, from each session. What, what, what is uh, inside that column? Uh, it has, oh well, actually it has uh, revenue columns which indicate the class uh-huh. level, whether the visit has finalized with a transaction or not. Uh, so you are talking about sales data on fashion? Um, not really. It doesn't state whether fashion or not. So I don't really understand uh, Meaning that you are based the product, the product sale and the revenue. Yes. And the product is a close. No, no, it doesn't state whether it is close or not. So you mean the products and then the revenue gain from the products. Okay, so in this case, why don't you study your data? A little bit. What is the data is about? Because uh, you can when you get the data, you must understand what is the data about. Uh, of course, they give you code. They generally awareness. Uh, you have to create awareness. What is the data about? They want to see revenue. Revenue. You want to know which product kan? Gain yes. more, is more popular, right? Uh, so this one is for who? Eh? You want to solve this, this problem? One? This one is most likely for macam e-commerce company or any profit making company. Mm-hmm. So for their production or selling or marketing? Selling. For selling. So if yes, you see that this product um, uh, higher revenue, higher demand, so we want to sell them. So they want to study the trend. The demand of the customer. Yes. Uh, okay. So, uh, okay. So you must know who you are uh, for seller. This one is for seller. Uh, for seller. For them to analyze the stakeholder is a seller. So your problem statement here is uh, you need to know who is the, I mean, what product so that they can make profit out of it. Uh, because there are so many competition. Eh? Mm. Okay, okay. Yeah. So you have to know what is the problem because your finding will solve your problem. Mm. Your finding is to solve your problem. Your problem cannot say, your problem cannot be who is the highest selling. No, the problem should be, you know, bigger than that. The company want to make strategic planning. They definitely, they want to make good business. 
they want to earn. In order to earn, they have to understand the market segment. They have to know, okay, who, uh, I mean, what product is the most favorable? What product uh, are, okay, these are the problem. They need to understand. The, understanding the market segment, that is your problem segment. No? Mm. And you, you understand the market segment. So your solution, your report will give them the answer to the market segment. Huh? Ah, okay. So yeah, so I will have a data uh, data dive. Assalamualaikum Rata. Okay. Okay. Um our data set is about uh, life expectancy in Asian countries. Uh, we look. Uh, the problem is uh, there is lack of uh, statistical evidence to support which factors that affect life expectancy. So we want to study the uh, the factors that contributing most to higher and lower value of life expectancy. So uh, in this data set, we have uh, four factors. We can look immunization, uh, mortality, e economy, and social. So the uh, the objective uh, we want to look on this data set. Uh, we want to identify which country in Asia that has highest and lowest life expectancy. Um, in this data set also we have uh, 193 countries. But I think uh, we want to do data pre-processing. Pre we want to do for Asia countries only. And also, we want to analyze whether urbanized countries tend to have lower life expectancy. Okay, so once you have this data, how are you going to use it for what purpose? We if want to look at the factors. Yeah, the factors, yes. Like example, we say, okay, in Japanese, they, they, they are usually like Japanese, huh? they can live longer, yeah, they live longer. Uh, so, what are you going to do? Okay, they, they live longer, they drink a hot drink, they are, you know, consistently exercise, and then they drink their tea. So, since you know this, what are you going to do? What are your customer going to do with this data? What problem do you want to solve? Oh, contoh kan, uh, kalau kita orang uh, tengok factors dia, contoh um, contohnya uh, consume uh, satu country tu banyak consume alcohol so uh, uh, so uh, from alcohol tu lah dia punya life expectancy tu hmm, Okay, so you know that alcohol uh, with people, example we see India kan contohnya kan, because uh, I do not know lah, I might be biased lah so we see that, okay, India they produce or Mexico because they produce a lot of this and then the kematian very high and then we say that okay Japanese they drink tea that's why the mortality is higher okay uh, then uh, I spend my example 500,000 give it to you the data and for you to call it analyze for me and then you call it analyze so I get this uh, this uh, so what I'm going to do for what purpose Uh, you, you, we have the finding, you have the solution, but this solution to what problem? Uh, so now you go and find problem. Because you find the answer, yes. What are the factors cause mortality? Yeah, that is your answer. But your answer solve what problem? So you go and find out eh? what are the problem. No, it's okay. You don't worry. Huh? This one, I just want to correct you all sahaja. This has nothing to do with Pandai ke, you Wodo ke, in this class is no one. We all, because at this stage, second class, I want to get you correct. So when you do wrong, I just correct it. Okay, that's all. Huh? Uh, okay. When you do your FYP pun sama. Selalu student macam tu lah, problem lain, solution lain. So problem dia, macam um, tak kena kan, tak kena. Uh, so same, same. Whatever you do in my class is sama saja dengan FYP. Whenever your solution must solve the problem. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh, doctor, uh. kita orang macam nak tolong sektor kesihatan ni dalam sebuah negara tu. 
untuk hmm. selesaikan masalah uh, life expectancy in term of health or something. Macam tu lah. Uh, uh, yeah, that one is good. Okay, that one you you find lah. That is their problem lah. And then make it more detail by go and read more. Uh, go and do some reading. Eh? Okay. Okay, yes. If you say that, it's okay. Because somebody have to make decisions. Somebody have to take action. Even though the action is just to create awareness. So that society are aware. So that they take care of themselves. Macam COVID. Of course, we give the statistic every day. It's not we want the society to make action. We want the society to make action. When we see that, wow, so many. Then you start being alarmed. Don't go out. You see? Uh, create awareness. And who hire you? Of course lah. Uh, KKM kan? Uh, hire you. Because someone want to take it. Your job is not to supply them the information. Uh, the, the, the initiate tu. The initiate tu you kena ada. Huh? What they want to do. Or they themselves want to do strategic. Like example, we see Selangor. Oh, now we force all the pekerja go to Selangor. Nurse, frontliner to Selangor. Or we know that it's rising. Okay, start prepare, prepare, apa, prepare for hospital. Uh, Sometimes hospital yang currently closed for COVID, we open for COVID. We make it for COVID. Then we renting more um, apa, studi- uh, stadium. Uh, renting stadium and so on. So these are the action that, you know, KKM has to take, like your case, uh, mortality, kan? Um, encourage them, okay, uh, create awareness. Uh, apa saja lah, you, you have to read. Uh, read and find out, eh. Uh, team left brain. Hmm. Semua left brain, eh. Yes, tak saya. Okay. Kalau left brain, uh, you writing hand, handwritten lah. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Kalau tidak, the right brain. Yes, exactly. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ah. Um, doctor, do you mind if I share my screen? Okay. All right. Uh, hold on. So next group, get ready, eh? Hmm. I want next group is uh data now. Okay, doctor. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so hopefully you can see my screen. Um, before we go over the prom statements or the objectives, I think it is best if we explain the process of the project. Mm. Is that okay with you? Mm, okay. All right. So, um, as you know, as you might have noticed in the Excel file itself, we did not include any link to our data set. Mm-hmm. That's because we are planning to cl- do the data collection ourselves. Meaning oh. that we won't go to any website to get the uh, data. So we will mm-hmm. get the data from Twitter. So in other words, we are getting primary data instead of secondary data. Okay. We will be handling the data collection, yes, manually. Yes. So how we can do that is by doing data scraping using Python. And then we will go into Twitter and then we will take the tweets regarding the pandemic or the COVID-19 from the first world countries only. Because the scope is um, the project will be applicable to English language tweets. So that's why we set for first world countries. And there are a lot more reasons that I will try to explain after this. So once we have the tweets, we'll go to the data cleansing process. Mm-hmm. Clean out anything that we can, remove stopping words, um, uh, remove the emojis, emoticons, uh, anything that is unnecessary. Afterwards, we will apply the lexicon based model where it is simply a sentiment analysis. So based on the tweets, we will determine whether it is negative, neutral or positive towards the topic of pandemic or COVID-19. From there, we will we'll try to relate the results with external information. Um, okay, after this, I'll, I'll try to explain this. And from there, we will visualize everything. Mm-hmm. So okay. Uh, uh, sorry? it's okay, it's okay. This one you can explain to me later when we move on. At this okay. stage, I just want to know your data first. Eh? So right. you say about uh, COVID. What is actually you are looking for in this COVID? You say for positive, negative, right? And uh, okay. neutral. So what you are looking for in this uh, COVID data? We are looking for um, mm. professions, uh, statements, um people's opinions regarding the uh, pandemic in the country 
-hmm. in general um, when mm -hmm. we see uh, when we see COVID you see you will know that oh it's more positive and it's more or negative yes exactly mm -hmm. okay but you need to have parameters right you extract parameters what are the parameters that you're looking for the parameters for uh, the uh, modeling uh, or is it in the data the modeling the modeling uh, to determine whether it is negative or positive, you, is it? Hold on. Are you doing Sorry. prediction? If you say modeling, is prediction. It's, yes. it's we are not using modeling to predict. Ah. It's more to using the modeling as a pre-processing technique. Ah, pre-processing it is oh, okay. using the modeling, the pre-trained model to use it as pre-processing because the lexicon yeah. base is already a model that has been trained with a lot of data to determine yeah, whether know, it is positive or negative. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I know, I know that one. That one, yep. you uh, supply the, 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 the positive term, the negative term, mm -hmm. and the neutral terms, right? So yep. now I'm concerned about the plotting of the graph. What are you going to plot? As of now, we haven't decided yet because we haven't looked at the data, but mm -hmm. I think it is best if we would visualize the uh, the most negative tweets by country, the um, number of um, suicide rates, the number of cases, the number of people who died because of COVID. Mm, okay, so that, that, that one is not from tweet, right? The data is not from tweet, right? Uh, the data is not from tweet. So, so it means that you're going to get external data. Yep. You say you're not going to get everything is primary, you say just now? The tweets will be primary, but to relate really? the tweets with the other information, that will okay. be secondary. Okay, now I understand. So you have both primary and secondary. Yes. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ah, that is okay. Now I understand. So your primary data will be the extra information lah that's, that, you know, explain. Or mm, yes. explain, uh, give more in extra input or explain the scenario of the data from the secondary data, right? Yes. Ah, okay. So, the one is okay. So now, once you know this, what are you going to do? I mean, you you already find the answer. Example, the solution, mm -hmm. the trend, and everything, right? What is for this knowledge? For what so, mm -hmm. so the purpose of it, or the um, the scope, the end user, because we know that we are just students and we cannot really impose any techniques to help in this COVID-19 crisis, but what we can do is trying to give some um, overview that COVID-19 is actually real. There are some people uh, um, that still think COVID-19 is conspiracy. They don't believe in COVID-19, but numbers do not lie. So this, this is more or less to convince them that this is something real and people all over the world are trying to help in eliminating COVID once and for all. So you are more towards create awareness lah. Your objective is to create awareness. Okay, so so oh, generally who hire you to create this awareness? Uh, because you know you have to have fun in order to create data in real life. Huh? Now of course you take a course. But in a real life, you surely have a fun huh, to create awareness. Uh, so who, who actually hire you to create this awareness? Decided yet. Yeah. Ah, I think okay, there are so a few parties that would uh, uh, like to play with this kind of data. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So we in this class, we assume that you are a consultant. People yeah. hire you to analyze data. And All then right. you must have a stakeholder. And this stakeholder will fund your research. Okay. Uh, they will fund your research and then they want a certain result. Like you say, then, uh, the purpose, okay, clear. You want to create awareness. Uh, because a lot of anti-vaccine and so on, you mm -hmm. want to alarm them that this is real thing. Yep. Right? That's your objective, right? That is a problem statement there. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay, you alarm them. And then your finding, okay, to have to tailor towards alarming people. You can see the death, the amount of death. Then you compare people who have taken before this is the amount. Once people taking, this is the amount. You can see that as the amount taking, uh, I mean, a vaccine, the amount of deaths decrease. There is a direct relationship. So that people young, you know, create awareness, alarm of this thing, uh, solve, solve this problem. Lah. They get the, I mean, uh, you understand, your finding will make people aware. 
And then uh, you also can state something like, you see, the among the death, like 1,000 people yang die, example, 80% of people are not vaccinated. So these are the things that create awareness because your finding must solve your problem. So that's why you must know what is your problem. Uh, okay, because data is a lot. I can see from different, different angles. Uh, uh, now my angle is to solve this particular, that is create awareness. And someone will surely hire you. So this thing, you need to do a little bit of research. Uh, usually okay. for the people who want to know of this, yeah, uh, who want to create awareness. If you are a giant company, maybe you yourself, uh, you are a giant company, you yourself ask your staff to create this because you want to give to the society, back to the society, it's also can. Uh, as an example, uh, can, uh, give back to a society. And then like example, uh, we say, I'm chef, uh, I took myself. People might not hire me to mamasa. I myself could do it. I am mamasa that I distribute to a needed people. Kan? Ha, can be like that. Now you, your company sendiri pun boleh. But now, uh, you, you, you study lah. Ha, sikit bahagian tu. And then the problem segment tu, itulah. To create awareness. Eh? Ha. But what you are most of you telling me is a solution. I want to see. I want to see. Uh, how many people meninggal, how many people, that is a solution. And this solution is solving what issue? Uh, itu missing eh. Okay, tak apa, continue. Uh, next okay. one. Mm. Um, okay. Yes. Do you think this kind of project is, is feasible? Feasible, feasible. Because you are using, uh, uh, say Twitter, and you are using tools kan, to extract. You are not, do programming kan, you are using to, to extract positive, negative, uh, neutral sentiment though. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're using tools, that is okay. Uh, so make sure tools too, they're ready lah, because if you're talking about Bahasa Malaysia, it's not many. If you're talking English, yes, uh, the term too, term, term positive, term, term negative too, if you're talking about English, they have a lot. They call it what? Uh, scopus, eh? Scopus too. Mm -hmm. uh, scopus too. So, that one, if English, yes, they have a lot. Uh, you just pakai sahaja. Don't start, you know, like FYP yang complex, complex, not developed by yourself. No, just two sahaja. For this class, two only. Eh? Okay. Uh, okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay. So, next group just now, I say, what now? Okay, group that's done now. Data now, okay. Data now. After data now, I want this group tak ada nama ni. Abang Muhammad Irham, awangku Muhammad Adi. Hmm. Okay, uh, can I share my screen? Hmm. Alright. Alright, this is my whole screen. Uh, first and foremost. Uh, our data is A Asia Bookings data. So uh, this um, this data will focus on companies like A Asia, Malaysia Airlines, uh, mostly flights company. So as we can see from the data, we have um, we have the booking data, and it mainly focus on uh, how many people will. Um, how many pets they will buy and if they want food, pre-bought um, pre food, pre-bought meals, something like that and where um, from from the where the origin and where the destination of the flight and also where was the booking made. There's a lot, there's, there's a lot of attributes. There's 15 attributes in total and um, what can we do from this data is that we can get, uh, for example, um, this is Weka, a pre-processing uh, tool that we can uh, manipulate the data. And from what I can see, based on the data that we uh, collect, uh, that we um, took, uh, we can see that uh, Australians is the most, um, uh, Australians bought the most, uh, do the most booking for Asia. Australia and the next is Malaysia. So we can give like exam examples that like we can make sales or um, sales or discount because 
almost 17,000 um, Australian bought uh, bought tickets for Asia, from Asia. So that that's what we mainly focusing on the reports that we can give to um, Asia, and I think that's all. <laughs> I see just now got a problem statement there. Can you uh, uh for this uh, uh, from, from the data? Uh, 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 can you uh, enlarge it? Uh, the problem statement? Oh, uh, here. Yes, uh, here. What is that? Every, every customer, every customer. Who book a flight uh, is a potential buyer of other okay, mere, <laughs> yes. if a customer can buy, please. Uh, uh, it, yeah. on, um, the free book. Mm -mm. Free book means extra baggage. I'm not uh, in flight sales of meal. Mm -mm. Based on each customer booking data, hmm, I should have one booking. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, our data has 15,000. 50k instances. Oh, so okay. 50k rules. Okay. Uh, 50k, yeah. So this one, the data set is actually they want to, they just say they want to understand the, they, they want to solve this kind. Include mm. book mail and not the flight uh, seal of mail. So mm. on each customer booking data, each row. So they are trying to see how many people buy a uh, meal, is it? Online based. Mm. Uh, how many buy pre-book meals and how many will buy in-flight meals or something. Okay, so you don't do this problem segment, like you do others. Uh, we do others, we just want to make a report. Just make a report on others. Now you see, mm. so you can have many, many angles, many, many yeah. thoughts. We we want to focus on the route, like the origin of the de destination, so that we can make sure like there's enough flights <laughs> in that in okay. that. Uh, uh, so you are most toward uh, strategic business strategic lah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Planning, marketing planning. Okay. So if you are talking about marketing, it might be um you know marketing lah. Uh, you focus on satu lah marketing. Mm -hmm. If you're talking about flight, num number of flight, apa semua, probably it's also strategic planning. You realize there's more Australia, so probably we, we we're going to have more flight to Australia. Uh, things like this lah, huh? strategic uh, So your solution, okay, will help them in the strategic planning. Uh, strategic planning. Uh, so you have the purpose lah. You are now the apa? Data now. Data now. Ah. Okay. Next group. Thank you. Just now, which group that I mentioned? Just now, no name group. Ah. Uh, my group, madam. Ah, uh, your group. Your group. What is your group name? Our group <laughs> name is hope to be data scientist <laughs> one day in the future. Data scientist. Yes. Data scientist apa future? Hope to be data scientist one day in the future. Nama pendek-pendek dah lah. Data <laughs> scientist lah lah panjang lah data scientist eh. Okay. Data scientist can you please present? Okay. Uh, our data set is uh, Starbucks customer survey. Mm -hmm. And the problem is that uh, we want to retain customer and we want to uh, find out mm. what makes the customer loyal to the mm. Starbucks. Mm. So uh, our objective is to analyze customers' preferences to develop an effective customer retention program. So we want to know the customer preference and we can plan. For example, uh, what can we improve on the menu of their Starbucks? Mm, okay. And we want to study the promotion method to improve marketing strategies. Uh, we want to know what, uh, how, how the customer uh, knows about the shop, whether from the social media, email, or from, from their friends talking about it. Mm. So your data is about um, how did they know Sabah? 
Yes. Your column, the column or the you know parameters of your data. Parameters or data is a customer survey on the Starbucks. Ah, uh, yeah. What what you you collect the data on what? Collect data on what, madam? And the column, the column of your uh, data. The column of data consists of, uh, for example, income, uh, frequency mm -hmm. of visits, method mm -hmm. whether they are dining, mm -hmm. takeaway. Uh, your location of the shop from their home, whether they got membership of Starbucks or not, what they are purchasing, uh, how much they are spending, the price, and how they find out about the Starbucks, and uh, whether it's from an email or from friends, mm, okay. uh, whether so, they are loyal. Uh, okay, I understand. So you mean you are is more on the strategy, uh, strategy, the business, right? Did you say what business, right? Yes. Oh, you say just now business. Oh, you say just now what is your purpose? Problem you uh, is to study the promotion method to improve. Ah, promotion. promotion. Uh, you are more on marketing, lah. Uh. So yes. and uh, your problem there is you want your objective, lah, uh, to enhance, ah, uh, mm. to enhance, um. Your objective is to enhance the business through marketing. Uh, some people enhance business through the menu itself. It means the product itself, cantikkan product to variety kan the product and so on. You, you are more on marketing. Uh, marketing that is your objective marketing here. And then your issue here is that you not know uh, what customer preference and so on, right? You're not sure. You want to understand. What customer preference and so on. Uh, that is your problem there. Lah. You want to understand customer preferences. So now you collect data, you analyze the data. The finding will answer your question, lah. will answer your problem. That is what customer preference. Huh? Mm. Okay. Good. Next group. Mm, siapa? I open in. Siapa nak present? Uh, can you present? Uh, can. So you from which group? I'm from 5A uh, Intellect Data. Uh, now I check here. Eh? Intellect Data. Uh, okay, team Intellect Data. So you put team in front. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. This was a data set of vaccination rate in Malaysia and the COVID cases. Okay, mm -hmm. our purpose is that to study the effectiveness of COVID-19 vaccine uh, in correlation to the spreading of COVID-19 virus in Malaysia. And somehow we can see whether does the vaccine helps and the vaccine's efficacy to, uh, towards COVID-19. Mm, we want to see the efficiency, la, efficiency and effectiveness of this uh, vaccine. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yes, efficacy. And that is all. Do you have any questions? Stop. Doctor. That's all. Ah, uh, yeah. I think that would be all. Okay. So now, uh, okay. Now you already know the trend. Example, you see the effectiveness. This is effective. This is not effective, right? Of the COVID. Yes. Then for who? What is the purpose? The purpose is that we gonna. Uh, See even further la, which is more effective because for each vaccine, because uh, now COVID nineteen has a lot of variants, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna see whether does this vaccine, um, you know, effective towards this variant. And so who's your stakeholder? stakeholder? Who is your stakeholder here? Who going to uh, who going to benefit from your finding? The people. The people, huh? the people. I mean society lah. Yeah, society, yes, correct. Because it's uh, so be you want to create awareness lah. Kalau society awareness lah. You are not right. you want anything from them. It's not like Starbucks. You want to, you know, promote something that they will buy more towards you. For you, it's just that society create awareness. Then they take care of themselves. They a little bit alarmed. Uh, so jangan, they really jaga SOP. Because yeah. you know the awareness too. Okay, that is uh, what you 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 want to. So what is the issue here? What is the problem here? Yes, you see your solution will solve a problem. And your finding too, your finding too. We say that oh, we have data, we have this. 
then what is your issue here? The issue. Hmm, problem kat sini that you want to solve. Your finding will solve what issue? Uh, because maybe for those people who does not believe in vaccine. Hmm, yeah, okay. So it mean that you want to, um, your problem here sekarang ni adalah anti-vaccine lah. Huh? People who are anti-vaccine, people who are not follow SOP. Uh, yes, correct. You rasa that, okay, dah cukup dah. Uh, I mean, tak akan kena punya, tak akan kena punya. Uh, you say, dia macam tak apa kan. Uh, so that's why you create awareness. You want to increase awareness. You want the society to understand. Then, uh, because of the issue, the issue is like antivirus and also lack of awareness among society. Does they does not follow SOP? Uh, okay, so there is an issue there. So what you are trying to do is to increase awareness. And in order to increase the awareness, we need facts. We need fakta. So you're going to come this data. Your finding. When people see, they will be aware, and then itulah yo they were more aware lah. Uh, create awareness, so they are more aware. Okay. Okay. Yes, correct. Right. Okay. Thank you. Uh, so, hmm, left brain. Eh, left brain kan ada tadi kan? Yang eh, kamar ni, eh, ada dua kamar. Betul lah, ada dua kamar roll ke kat sini? Oops. <laughs> There are two of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Cannot be two of you. Oh, let's see. That is which group now? Just now. Hmm. Um. Ah, uh, doctor, say not present, Mali. Tomorrow you present about the. Apa tadi? Ah, uh, two thirty, right? Is that your group, right, Tomorrow? Yes. Yep, that's my group. Ah, uh, okay. Tamaru ada hal eh? Okay, that's so good. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, siapa nak present just now? Uh, saya. Uh, millennial? Ah, uh, uh, team millennial. Uh, okay. So, Assalamualaikum doktor. So, today my group will present about our data set which is uh, COVID-19 and its impact on education, social life and mental health of students. So, um, our data set uh, has 19 uh, attributes and we have um, 1,182 uh, instances and actually uh, this data set is from Delhi. Uh, we want to search a uh, data set from Malaysia but uh, we uh, jump from Asia which is uh, from India. And then our problem statement is to investigate uh, the impact of COVID-19 on education, social life and mental health of students from uh, different age groups. Okay, uh, that is correct. So, basic, mm -hmm. uh, so basically we want to, our objective is uh, to uh, create awareness uh, of COVID-19 among the students. Mm, okay, so you are, uh, what's your name eh? Uh, my name is Marina. Okay. Oh, uh, Marina, uh, Marina, Muhammad. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay, who, who hire you? Who pay you to do all these things eh? Uh, maybe the educational institution, for example, maybe KPM. The India punya lah kan? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Ah, okay. They are uh, Indian punya education punya department and so on. So, they hire you. They want to you to uh, help them, uh, assist them in understanding uh, the COVID in so that once they understand the, the effects of COVID and education, so once they understand, they can make decision lah eh. Okay, good. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you, doctor. I think everyone now have present. Is there any other group that not yet present? Hmm. Okay, good. Eh? Uh, so whatever you do, yes, you you think that yourself, your group as a stakeholder, as a consultant, people hire you, then you are supposed to analyze for them, help them. But before you do this, you must understand 
what is the nature of the business, the people that hire you, their education, or you understand their education. And then why they want to do this? Of course, they want to see relationship between COVID and education. So once they know this, what, so what? If they do this, of course, they want to make strategic planning and they also want to um, create awareness to students. They want to blast this to students uh, so that students are aware of the condition and they themselves can take action. Uh, kita jaga kita, like what we say, right? Uh, so you understand, you must understand this. Uh, then only you start. Uh, then only you have direction. Uh, you have a proper direction. Then only you're finding to meet the the purpose, the main purpose. Kalau you setakat buat saja, you, you uh, honestly, I'm telling you, uh, because I also do a lot of research. Uh, if you don't do a proper, if you don't have a proper uh, problem statement, towards the end, uh, meraya-raya akan jadi. You tak ada, tak ada, tak ada apa eh. Jalan tu bercabang-cabang, you do not know which jalan you nak pergi. Uh, too many road, ada kiri, ada kanan, cabang, cabang, cabang. So, what, where you want to go? Uh, I'm telling you, okay, um, for your FYP pun sama. Uh, always student, uh, dia problem segment lain, solution lain, then buat benda lain sebab tak ada proper objective. Apa tujuan dia sebenarnya? So that's why I say, uh, when, this is also true when you work in future, eh. You know, you must know, you must understand who is your stakeholder. You must understand who, how the nature of their business. Ah, uh, Baru you boleh tailor to their need. Uh, if you know they are commercial, you know they are the stakeholder. They are, they want to make decision. And their decision is about what. Uh, so usually you interview them lah. Usually you talk to them, understand. Then, uh, then only you start collecting data for them. Yes, uh, the other group, the Snokamaru group, right? You start collecting data. Once you start collecting, get, collecting the data, pre-processing everything, then you start uh, map the data, plot the data. So the choice of your graph is very crucial to meet the, to to answer the problem segment. Uh, they have your problem big ini. So your the way you map, your way you choose your graph is to answer the problem segment, to, to solve their problem. The problem is to create awareness. Definitely, you must have data on end user. Like you say, at the COVID just now. And then you know that, oh, you want to make decision. Definitely, you must have finding uh, to solve, to help the kementerian pendidikan to make decision. Uh, and it's you got to eh? So clear to know what you want. Okay, for next class, hmm, uh, you can start draft. Next class, uh, you also present to me. And probably I will not ask you to present. Probably during that class, I just baca setiap your, you know, you punya draft. And then I just comment sorang, 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 sorang. I mean, satu group, satu group lah. I just comment, you tambah ini, you tambah that lah. Uh, that one, probably I will do it during the class hour lah. Huh? During the class hour, I will inform you. I will inform you. If I will have no class, I will always be in Telegram. Uh, so I will telegram, I just explain to you in the Adobe Telegram. Eh? I will see first, eh? Mm, because that's some more, eh? Like class line, eh? I will think about the local, I think about small, okay, ah, okay. Kalau I think about banyak, asalah, uh, then I will call you for a class. Now I show you some, some sample of a previous student, and they are not the right one, because they are just draft. The right one is the one that the one that submitted. Ah, uh, yang siap tu, yang siap tu, that one is the right one. I give you sample report kan. Hmm. Yeah, let's see this one. You make mistakes, okay? Yeah. Oh, I haven't shared. Tak tutup mah, benda-benda yang you not supposed to see. All my office punya chatting semua ni. Okay, tutup dulu. So can you see? Can you see? Yes. Yes, you can. Yeah, this is a drama. It's showing to you lah. 
start from the This one is what you need to write. So you go and read. Uh, introduction, you have to read and then you cite a little bit uh, to citation. It's about suicide. Mm, this is about our suicide. And you read last week, okay. you read about suicide. Uh, so, while suicide has been shown to be reduced among the elderly, it has been rapidly increased among youngsters. Uh, then, bawa kepada problem you do. Bawa kepada problem just in suicide, general, general, general. And then, now this is alarming because youngsters. Uh, youngsters. Okay, through past studies, suicide has been shown to be spread socially, but uh, reason as to why and how are too vast and still quite unknown. So we are unknown. This is actually a problem. Lah. We do not know why these youngsters commit suicide. So the problem here is that lah, the unknown those sebenarnya. Uh, these are interna international suicide preventive committee. Uh, they cari lah. Okay, for this country, the data that they come from. Is thinking and organize an event related to mental health and suicide uh, prevention around the world. You see, to create awareness, uh, to create awareness. The company intend to know what characteristic of behavior. Uh, based on the data set, we will be focusing on finding pattern, uh, pattern that help people, help this organization to make decision to create awareness. If they know there is a youngsters from what age to what age, then they will target that customer. They go to school. Okay, target this example from three students. Target this from three okay. students. Now, okay, so that is a problem here. Eh? Mm. So the reason is, of course, lah, they want to reduce it. Eh? Reduce. And then project aims. Huh? Project aim. No, this is wrong. Objective are also wrong here. Mm. Don't worry yeah, if you make mistake. Okay, uh, so let's see this one. I just show lah. Eh. The one that correct, like I say lah, from the report to one correct. Okay. You refer to the report. And then this one I correct on the spot lah. Uh, when I correct on the spot. A woman absolutely want elegance, beauty and style. If you relate to some of product, uh, this about clothes, industry and so on. Again, this one go and read, eh? Go and read. Mm. Talk about summer. Summer usually very short. You have to sell it during that short period of time because one uh, fall come in, your baju dah tak laku. Nah, that is a four season country lah. Uh, this is a European style eh? um, According to Europe style, mostly Italian, Spanish, French. So they want to know the style that people like to wear. They want to understand. The reason is, of course, marketing. Lah. The problem is it is hard to understand customer need because there are various market segments with various needs. Uh, itu masalah dia. They, they don't understand. They want to do marketing. It can be marketing. It can also be a factory. They want produce. Uh, factory too, they not produce. They not produce baju. So what kind of baju? What kind of a user need? Uh, they tak tahu. So, the fashion industry is difficult to detect and change the fashion trending. Mm -hmm. Planning is challenging uh, too since fashion industry is versatile and keep changing uh, in just a few months. So, these are the problems that they're facing. And then, um, uh, keep on changing. Lah. So, they cannot, they don't understand. Currently, what is the trend? Do you know that uh, you can also, in fashion industry, like actually, they also predict future one. Uh, sama tahun depan, sama tahun ni dia dah predict dah. Hmm, sebenarnya. Okay, so that is a problem and these are the objective. Uh, this objective is correct. To collect data, so you want to develop system and then you want to extract information. Okay, this objective is correct. So for your information, uh, this objective is for my class. Huh? If you go for industry, usually they don't care. They don't care about how you develop the things. If you are statistic, they don't care what all the statistic method that you use. What they know is I hire you. I know your background. I already take uh, information of all the researcher. What, what, where you graduate from. Do you get a three-pointer? You get five-pointer ke? Apa ke? Eight-pointer ke? Uh, and then we know that we trust you. You have this background. You have this experience. And then what I want is just the result. 
Uh, so, if you write that kind of report, you don't go for this part lah. The development system tu tak payah lah. You just say, yes, they want to know data. How many data you collected. Uh, this one general, people want to know. But how you do it, they don't want to know. They just want to know the um, finding. These are the findings. Okay, but for the academic, we go developing lah. We develop the system. From this system, we extract the information. Mm. Of course, collect the data and so on. Eh? And the scope. The scope is what are the data, how many rows, how many columns. This is only for summer closed product. Where you get the data only for Europe. Eh? We got only for Europe scope. Okay. Mm. Ada lagi satu missing here actually, eh? Hmm. So just remember like this, your, this one is, their problem segment is actually, is for, they give point lah, but actually you can write in sikit lah, is for, if marketing, you cakap marketing lah, uh, problem segment ialah marketing ya. they need to understand the real trend, so marketing lah for the marketing purpose here, marketing ya. And then when we go to, Okay. Uh, next week you don't have to do this one uh, because um, I went to read the other one, uh, the report star one. Mm. Okay, uh, put in a point form. Mm. Okay, this is investment. Investment, you want to buy property for investment, not you want to stay. Uh, different, eh? Property for investment and property you want to stay is two different things. Investment, it means definitely they want a place that high value. I buy now after five years, I can get triple than the price that I invest. Uh, so, that is um, about the introduction. Eh? I talk about investments more. And then these are the problem. Client hard to find. Mm, okay. And then it's complicated to decide because the risk of purchasing a property can cause the client living with loan or of a dozen of years. And then you can all see me banyak lah problem dia kan. Most property are negatively geared. Negative geared is when a property costs more than they generate in income. So you say, well, example, 1,000, but you have to pay to the bank 1,500. So rugi lah kan? You want to, you will pay to bank 1,500, people rent for 2,000. Then you generate income lah. Of course, you have to take into consideration kan, rosak lah rumah tu nanti when they go out. Uh, that is for investment lah. That is for investment purpose. They want to earn. Um... Okay, so the problem and then the aim of the study. Hmm, ini pun tak betul. Objective dia salah kat sini eh. Hmm, salah. Uh, so, uh, the one that missing ialah research question. Uh. Other, other just now tak ada research question. So, this research question is actually for chapter 2. Uh, for chapter 2, but I also want you to find research question so that you clear, you nak jawab soalan apa, your finding ni. Uh, you have patterns, your pattern will find what answer. So example here, what kind of property feature that clients want. Uh, then from your graph, you realize that, oh, they want uh, for youngsters, they want this kind of feature. For elderly, they want a single story house. For youngsters, they want in the middle of town. Mm, flat tinggi tinggi. Uh, they want a nice view. Must have relief. Uh, things like this. They don't mind paying to the monthly. For uh, their own maintenance. Uh, maintenance fee, right? Monthly maintenance fee higher. They don't mind paying. But elderly. Uh, so answer lah. Question you sini. Hmm. So which property is uh, suitable with uh, client desire? Uh, what are the client desire? Hmm. What kind of uh, property suitable. Hmm, property suitable for client. I pun tak berapa nak faham apa dia cakap sini eh. Hmm, property suitable with client desire. Which property area has higher price? Ah, uh, you, want, you want to see. In town. Sometimes uh, not necessarily in town. Kalau tepi pantai pun dia not in town. Tapi ah uh, high ya, uh, high price. 
Or sometimes they also in town but congested. People don't want. They want congested area. So these are the, you know, we want to study. We want to study when we say that, oh, congested area, people don't want to buy. Even though remote sikit, quite, um, you know, far away from their office, from their town, but it's a nice view. And then you realize that people willing to buy area yang macam eco park, a lot of garden, yang green place, they willing to pay extra. Uh, things macam you want to understand. So this understand, this understanding will help investor in buying the property lah. Then, uh, uh, what type of property is more demanding? Uh, type of property. Uh, this uh, property, um, you can say that low cost, memang cepat habis, example. Okay, apartment, middle class, oh cepat habis. Uh, condo, condo pun ada high class, low class condo kan. Uh, condo medium, medium lah. Oh cepat, condo high class condo, um, very difficult to sell. Ah, uh, Things like this lah. And then you are talking about, uh, itu apa? Um, Banglo, banglo or many many type of banglo, mansion, also difficult to sell. They sell but, um, you know, one year one satu. But, you know, must have a right target. Market lah, and you are talking about, um, let's say, uh, ayo, si petang-petang ni dah tak boleh fikir lah. Uh, word pun does not come out. Uh, banglo for, you know, Sebenarnya rumah as long as, you know right, if you have a this piece of land and then you have a rumah, how kecil your rumah pun is still banglo kan? Uh, because you it's not it's not attached kan? Sebiji rumah pun banglo. Hmm. So property uh, is most demanding lah. Huh? You, these are the question that you want at the end. You must have five, huh? not four, I want five. Towards the end, your graph that must answer all this. Memang ada five, tapi boleh pecah-pecah lagi eh. Pecah-pecah uh, lagi female, male, a single mother, uh, or family, orang tua, orang muda, all these same people with children. A lot, people with children definitely they want near house, and near school, senang nak hantar. And really they don't want because we say uh, things like this and then jam. I pun tak nak so close to school. Because uh, every time balik sekolah, uh, you will see jam. Hmm. Lalu pun tak lepas eh. Uh, things like this. So, these are the questions uh, that you answer. Uh, you want the answer and the answer will solve the problem segment. You think that way, uh, your answer will solve the problem segment. When solve the problem segment, uh, um, the stakeholder tu, the one that hire you, they can make decision out of it. So, contohnya, they marketing. They want to, you know, their problem is they need to understand the market segment to make an effective decision. So, you give lah all this lah investor and investment. Investment ialah they want to make a, um, they want to make an effective, uh, of course lah, strategic investment lah, strategic investment. The reason is because once you buy a house, it's very expensive, kan? Uh, expensive. Nah, you buy a wrong place, you join a tak laku dah. Kawasan banjir. You beli-beli, then you realize, oh no, banjir this area. Uh, you join pun dah tak nak. Kau tak nak beli, eh? Mm -hmm. So, these are the things, eh? Okay, any other question that you would like to ask me? You have like half an hour. We start at 2, so you can take 10 minutes early. Finish the class. Um, doctor, uh, I have a question. What's the difference between project aims and objective? The project aims is general. It's just ah. uh, general in a, in a, how to say, in a paragraph. It can be two, three lines just. So, usually people write like this. Does. Because you have a masalah, kan? You have a masalah. So, in order to solve this problem, does, okay? This project or this research are you project or does this project is intended to develop a dashboard system, okay, mm -hmm. in order to assist uh, analysts in exploring the data to understand, uh, to understand the, the cost of COVID as an example. Uh, the cost of COVID. Uh, so you must, 
Your aims tu kena including developing the uh, system tu uh, and also assist you in the analysis. Uh, analyze. Uh. Mm. Uh, so when you come to objective, objective ni dia lagi detail about uh, aims tu. Nah, lagi detail about aims. I mean the first one, in order to achieve your aim, you have to collect data. Then you have to uh, I mean uh, design or develop dashboard. And then the third one, you have to extract or analyze the pattern. Okay, that is uh, and then when you go to methodology, if FYP again, you chapter three. If you go to chapter three methodology, this objective, you further, okay, I want to analyze. The first objective is to collect the data. Then in your chapter three, you have to specify exactly how you collect the data. What are the question A? And then you say you develop a system, objective two. Then in methodology, you have to design. You have to say, oh, this is the design of my system. I'm using this algorithm. I'm using this system, hardware, software that I use. And then the third one, you say you want to extract. Okay, uh, that one will be the finding, lah, finding and analysis. Uh, it's not in chapter three, but in chapter four. Okay, finding and analysis. So you say, okay, this is what we're finding, we're finding, we're finding. And then usually FYP, your finding, you will cari expert lah. Uh, you will cari expert and show. But in this class, I assume you are the expert. So since you are the expert, tak ada testing lagi dah. Mm. Uh, uh, so what we are doing here, dia sama saja macam FYP. Uh, sama macam FYP. Usually, honestly, I tell you, FYP is a standard lah. Standard template. Mm. The whole world, you pergi present paper mana-mana pula in the whole world. They will use the same standard. Uh, introduction, problem statement, objective, scope and significant. Why you want to do this? And then the background study. Okay, FYP and your literature review. Yes, yeah, two. Yeah, of course, right. uh, my one tak ada literature review. Yeah. Because I'm not a research paper. Uh, and then the last one is methodology. Yes, mine got methodology. Uh, yeah, methodology. Uh, they want chapter 2. Uh, chapter 2 on methodology. And if you use that template now, okay, you just adopt saja. In future, if you work in future next time, ah, if you were to write proposal to your boss, okay, proposal usually they write proposal and they will write proposal to government. They will say, okay, I propose for you. We are like example, buat jalan raya lah. I propose you boleh ni jalan hutan ni, you boleh shortcut kan? Ah, yeah. you boleh shortcut kan? You tak payah jalan lama semua because they want the tender kan? Uh, they want the tender, they want the project, so they propose. Uh, then starting from introduction, introduction, and then problem statement. Sama. The problem ialah jauh nak pusing ni. Itu directly, very dekat. And if you have very dekat sini, dia akan advantage Wala, untuk kampung ni, kampung ni, kampung ni, kampung ni. Oh, semua. Kampung ni semua ada permasalahan lah. Nak cross lah situ, ha, sekolah jauh. Kalau naik aja sini, Ha, tepi jalan, penduduk kampung boleh buat bisnes tepi-tepi jalan ke apa semua ha, you cerita lah semua kat situ kan that is a problem lah problem kat situ ha, after problem barulah you cakap ha, your aim adalah hmm, buat jalan rentas shortcut jalan, that is your aim and then the objective, ha, itulah planning you yang detail tu lah, first, ha, apa second and the third one planning. of course methodology tu lagi lah Uh, bila dia agree, you keluar lah tu blueprint. Sometimes dia buat lah sikit blueprint kan. Tunjuk, oh you tengok kat sini, kat sini. Ha. That is uh, chapter 3 lah, blueprint tu. Hmm. Okay, so uh, chapter 2 tak ada lah. Sebabnya you bukan buat research. Chapter 2 tu usually for research saja. You are propose, dia tak, tak ada chapter 2. Dia terus chapter 3. Ha. You cerita-cerita. I kalau I propose to buat any event, example I call professor, professor datang uh, nak buat event. I do the same thing introduction. Ha, uh, pelajar dulu I selalu buat for uh, uh, PhD because I was coordinator. Ah uh, cerita benda yang sama, okay? Uh, student perlu diberi pendedahan, pendedahan yang berterusan akan ini 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 semua lah of course in Malay lah kan. Uh, all this thing and then I also say problem. Problem student menghadapi banyak masalah bila menulis. Uh, itu masalah utama. Menulis dia orang punya thesis tu. Menulis thesis tu. Uh, at first saya cerita lah penulisan thesis tu sangat penting lah apa semua. Uh, uh, penulisan yang penting tu very tepat, very jetuh tu penting and then the second one adalah 
for a student having this problem. When they have this problem, they don't graduate on time. Delay, 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 tak boleh graduate on time. That is the issue there. And then of course the objective, I uh, does the aim lah. The aim tu adalah does we need someone expert from outside. Okay, when we talking about pensyarah, dia orang dah tak nak lah. Student ni dah dah tepu dengan pensyarah FSKM. Hari-hari daripada degree, master, PhD, asyik pensyarah tu je. They want new, fresh idea. You want ke panggil Mak Saleh korang overseas ke apa ke, oh, they feel like, oh, fresh idea, new idea, they want new faces kan. Uh, so, these are the things. So, my aims adalah, does there is a need lah untuk kita panggil pensyarah luar, okay, untuk brief the student. Uh, uh, itulah, my ialah untuk panggil pensyarah luar je lah. Uh, itu aim je. So, my objective tu, uh, itulah I will design a, a webinar ke, I will design a, you know, um, seminar ke, benda-benda uh, macam tu. And then of course, chapter 3 lah, I tak ada chapter 2. Chapter 3 terus, the plan, what is the planning? Of course, I have to give agenda, maksud dia, hari apa, okay, uh, you, we bought this one, expected how many students, makan, uh, makan pagi tengah hari apa, and then, uh, benda-benda tu semua kena spell out clearly lah, sama lah macam you punya methodology. You spell out clearly, but for me, I nak design event. So event tu must be very detailed. The costing semua very detailed because they will not give me extra single cent pun. Uh, you use kurang tak apa, you minta extra dia tak akan bagi. And then ada uh, person nak duduk hotel mana. Uh, betul, dia ada professor adalah level hotel ni. Kalau you are just a doctor, level hotel ni. Kalau you tak ada doctor, uh, hotel you ini je. Dia macam tu tau, dia ada dia punya tu. Then have to design properly for kelulusan. Uh, macam tu lah, sama. You apply because uh, the academic that we FYP tu is very complex dah. It's dah cukup dah segala-galanya. Significant lah. Kenapa you nak panggil professor luar tu? Kenapa tak buat free je? Kalau pensyarah kita free je. Kenapa nak spend-spend it? Hmm, we still have fresh idea. Okay, uh, expand uh, from different perspective. Because orang luar come from different culture. Uh, jadi benda-benda tu. Yeah? Hmm. So there is a aim, a aim in general. Objective to very specific. Understood, okay. that's it. Thank you. Apply the thought in your FYP. Okay, others, anybody want to ask me more? Uh, 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 yes. Okay, I, I'm from the team data professor. Uh, actually, I just realized that uh, our data set 70% of it is uh, artificial data. So it is generated and uh, and the data set is from three country which is uh, which is in U, uh, uh, in Peru, Colombia. Uh, so I think it is very far from uh, from uh, our our country. But uh, we have our backup uh, backup data set. Uh, can can I present it? Ah yes yes. You just tell me only. Tak banyak demo apa. Okay. Uh, so for our backup uh, data set is COVID nineteen public vaccination admin. Uh, uh, it is official data uh, data set on COVID nineteen epidemic in Malaysia from uh, from Mo, uh, Ministry of Health Malaysia. Mm. So our uh, problem statement uh, our problem statement is uh, to to nak buat kaji uh, nak kaji effectiveness of the vaccine itself. Uh, and uh, the one who got benefit is uh, the researcher KKM and for the public as well. Mm. So uh, which one? Uh, which one we should choose? Uh, the vaccine one or the obesity? Uh, obesity one. I think vaccine better lah, because vaccine right Malaysia kan. So at least we know. And then KKM, uh, you will realize that which one is effective, right? You want to see effective, uh, effectiveness. Then okay lah. So KKM, we know lah that in future if you want to have third dose, ah, uh, we buy this one. Okay. Thank you so much, doctor. Okay. Okay, any any other question?
Okay, we still have like 20 more minutes. Huh? Please uh, get into your group, continue, huh? continue to draft for future. Once you draft, uh, you put point form pun tak apa. Uh, not necessary you to have karang-karang-karang. Uh, just you have some ideas and then you put it in um, Google Drive. And then next week during class hour, I just tengok je lah. Class hour, uh, okay lah. Class hour. During class hour, I just briefly lah tengok apa kena, apa tak kena lah. Okay. And then I will see first lah. Uh, like I say lah, whether if I see banyak sangat salah, I will call for class lah. Otherwise, no. Hmm, otherwise, I just use voice sahaja. Through telegram. Okay. That's all eh. <laughs> Boleh? Okay, Doctor. Boleh, Doctor. Okay, ha, hari ni nak cepat-cepat sikit. Okay. Because I want lab, I want you to to have your own time. I I prefer, I want to give you more time. I tak nak you buat outside. Ha? Hmm, you spend no none face to face tu kan sebab I tahu you are very busy ok Assalamualaikum you all uh, kita sudahi dengan Tasbih Kifarah eh? <laughs> I see you next week eh? ok bye bye Assalamualaikum Waalaikumsalam thank you doctor thank you doctor ok thank you doctor Thank you, Doctor.